Okay, so Daniel Ramsey here with my Outdesk. I'm very excited. On our Hangout today, we've got Jesse Garcia. We are going to talk about accountability. Um, you know, we've got a couple hundred virtual assistants making phone calls for our agents right now, and it's becoming more and more a part of what we do. And so Jesse's company actually has software to help hold your virtual assistant accountable. Jesse, welcome to our Hangout. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Um, well, my name is Jesse Garcia. I'm the co-founder of Pipeline Wizard, and uh, I've been in the real estate business for about eight years now, um, uh, six years full time. You know, I was one of the smart ones that dove into real estate head first in 2008. Probably the best time ever to do it. Uh, <laughs> right. And I left a, a career in law enforcement to do that. And in when I dove into real estate, I knew I knew very very little about sales, about because nobody in my family was ever in real estate, not that I know of, and I knew that from all the books, everything I read, all the all the seminars and conventions I went to, it was all about systems and knowing your numbers and uh, sales is as simple as the more people you talk to, the more business you get. Um, so, you know, I didn't really understand or have a lot of money at the time to go out and buy a lot of these systems. I mean, you know, as real estate professionals, we get sold stuff all the time. And uh, a lot of it works and a lot of it doesn't or it's not relevant to where we're at in our business at that time. And so what I needed was something just to hold me accountable to making sure I'm doing my job and to explain to my wife, hey, I just left a steady income and I'm going to be doing what I need to be doing to make us money. And in order to track all this, I just created really a glorified Excel spreadsheet that just kept growing and growing and growing and growing uh, that, it, that it held me accountable to track my business. And as soon as it, you know, I showed it to other people and they wanted to know what I was doing to succeed, you know, they wanted the system. And then, you know, that's kind of how Pipeline Wizard was born to put it, you know, online. Okay. So how... So you said glorified Excel spreadsheet, but I think it's a lot more. I think you're maybe even, you know, dumbing it down a lot. Um, but tell, tell us a little bit about the functionality. Let's say I'm a client. Mm -hmm. um, I have six or seven uh, salespeople constantly on the phone, constantly, you know, in one stage or another of the sales process with leads. Mm -hmm. Is your, how does your product actually help them and is it a CRM? I mean, is it a contact thing? I, I just explain a little well, bit. More. We, we we get that question a lot. Is it a CRM? <clears throat> and it is not a CRM. It can act as a pseudo CRM, and it's one of the things that we'll be incorporating down the road is uh, integrating it in with a lot of the popular CRMs that agents or sales professionals are using. As a basic concept of it. The system, what it does, it tracks your lead generation activities and your results. So it helps guide you to the most effective action items you need to take as an agent, as a real estate professional, to continue building your pipeline, to optimize your production, ultimately increasing your income. What it does at that point is once you get the lead, once you get that tangible piece of business, the system will then track the, the contact information, the, the sales price, the commission, the address, all that basic information, but it's showing you your pipeline in order of lead, active, pending, closed, you know, whatever the status is of that deal, but it's going to show you from a motivation standpoint, you have the potential of making this amount of money if you do your job right here. Right. So it's here are the items and steps you need to be doing on a daily basis, and here is the result you're going to get if you continue to be consistent with your activities. So you're tracking a pipeline. So if I have 10 deals that I think are going to close in the next 60 days, they're in your system. Exactly. Okay. And then and your and and how does that help? Like, what are you? What is it tracking? What does the system do? Like, kind of help so, me with that. My overall vision for this company is for Pipeline Wizard to be ground zero for any sales business. Because ultimately, there are a lot of tools and systems out there that help you leverage your business. There's not a lot of tools out there that help you drive your business. Mm -hmm. So for Pipeline Wizard, I want this to be that ground zero where everything goes in the system and then it can go into a CRM. It can go into a transaction management system. It can go into a marketing system from our system because it's pulling all the same data from it. And ultimately what this system is doing is, is putting the agent and the business person first saying, we're going to show you what you need to do 
in order to achieve this level of uh, uh, level of activity or your result. And it's not just for new agents, it's for top producers, right? It's just knowing your numbers, being aware of what you're doing, but it's also showing you your conversion ratios. It's telling you how many people on average you're talking to per hour, how many appointments it's going to take you to set before you close a listing. Um, and then from the pipeline standpoint, just the dollars and cents. It's going to show you how much money you have the potential of making. On top of that, how much money you should be budgeting for taxes and business expenses. So once you get that check from your broker, it's not, oh, all this money is mine. I get to keep all this. It's no. And that's the biggest trap most the 1099 real estate professionals get into unless they're incorporated is saving for taxes and business expenses to reinvest in their business. You know what's funny is as you were, I mean, literally like as you were talking and explaining like that tracking piece, I was saying, well, how do you most real estate people track right now? You know, like mm -hmm. what are you, and in, in my mind I'm thinking they all do a whiteboard or they have a spreadsheet in Excel or mm -hmm. they have a, a simple, you know, like a simple notepad that they pull uh -huh. up and say, okay, how many deals am I closing? And every, every couple of weeks they, they add it all up in their head, right? But your yep. system, you, your system will track your, your daily activities, your weekly activities, how many closings, what the commission is, what mm -hmm. your split is, like it, it kind of combines it, all it'll that. It'll track everything, is, uh, even down to just your average GCI, your average sales price, your average list price for business planning and goal setting purposes. And when you set up your account, you put in your split, you put in any kind of fees that you're paying per transaction, whatever, because the scary thing is, and, and you can attest to this too, because you work, you're in the business, yeah. is, I don't know how many agents I've taught in front of that don't know how they get paid. They have no clue how the raw GCI gets down to the check they get from their broker. And it could be as simple as a one split or a split plus royalty or admin or this and that. And it, it, they have no clue. All they know is their broker gives them the check. And um, there's no check and balance, not saying anybody's trying to cheat anybody. But as a business owner, you want to make sure you know your numbers. You want to know your dollars and cents. You want to check and balance to make sure everything's accurate. But also know that that's not all your money. Right, right. So walk me through, if I'm an agent and right now I'm using a whiteboard that's post, I mean, I, I, I swear to God, I've walked into 100 agents' offices and they all have some sort of a whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Your company is replacing those whiteboards or the Excels or the whatever right. and, and having a single place to track all of your leads, where you're at in the process with those leads and the commissions that you're earning from those, those deals, right? Correct. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I had the whiteboard. I had it in my cubicle. We all have it. We you all know, had it. I had it. I still do sometimes. You know? Well, and the great thing about a whiteboard is it's, it's not just tracking what you're doing. It's, that con it's like a vision board. It's constantly in front of you to keep you motivated to go, hey, my pipeline's full. A good friend of mine, uh, Kevin Cooper, yep. he always, and you know Kevin, he, yep. uh, his whiteboard was always full. And I'm like, so, you know, lead generation, what are you doing for lead generation? What, you know, what drives you? He goes, see that board? When it's full, I know I'm doing something right. When I start erasing stuff and it's not being re and stuff's not being replaced, I know I have a lot more work to do, right? right? And so that's essentially what pipeline does. It's going to call you out on your stuff. Mm -hmm. It's literally going to be that gut check to say, you can't complain or have any excuses for why you're not achieving the results you want because you're not doing the activity, and the system is ultimately going to tell you that. Right. Um, the system is not for everybody because not everybody can handle that level of accountability. Um, and and the reality is, if if everybody would just do that twenty percent of work, they'd get their eighty percent of result, right? We've heard that a million times over and over. Right. And what pipeline does is it narrows down and almost puts that cone around your head like a dog, going, "Here's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you what you need to do. We're going to show you the reward you're going to get if you do it." Mm -hmm. But people don't do it. Right. So walk me through. I'm. I'm. I've got. Let, let's just assume our average client has about two virtual assistants, mm -hmm. um, and one is typically admin. One is an ISA calling leads. Um, they typically have between three and five, um, like, associate agents or or buyers agents or listing agents. Mm -hmm. And there's typically a rainmaker, one person on the team that you know handles the majority of the listings. Um, is is it kind of has a market area that they control and they spend a lot of money on marketing. Um, how would a team like that 
utilize your your software from the accountability standpoint right i mean as you know as a fellow rainmaker um, you want to make sure that the agents on your team are doing what they need to be doing not only for their own success but for the benefit of the team mm -hmm. and what the system does there's a hierarchy where the rainmaker has the main account and they can add agents underneath them, whether it's uh, an ISA, whether it's a buyer's agent, showing specialist, listing specialist. That rainmaker is going to see all of their activity. They're going to see their pipeline. They're going to see what they're doing, not only from the accountability standpoint, but to celebrate wins. Hey, man, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. You know, let's let's, let's stretch your goals out because you're hitting them obviously pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, Wait no a more. minute. So a, a sign call comes in, and one of my agents takes it. Mm -hmm. Walk me through what happens on Pipeline. So a sign call comes in. What they're going to do is they're going to go into Pipeline and enter the information, the client name, potential client name, you know, uh, the, the purchase price they're looking around, um, you know, uh, how long, are they a hot lead, are they a cold lead, are they a warm lead, are they going to close in the next 30, 60, 90, 120 days. Um, you know, you can add in any specific notes you want in there. But in turn, what you're going to do is on the tracker portion of the system, you're going to put in, hey, you made a contact, you set an appointment, um, you know, you got a listing or you got a buyer contract, and that way you're tracking the activities, which will show you and auto calculate for you all these conversion ratios. So as a rainmaker, you can go in, look at their activity, and say, you know, hey, you're great at making contacts, you're doing the work that's necessary, but you can't get an appointment. What, where's the disconnect? What do we need to work on? Um, or you're blowing the doors off the building. Let's let's in, increase the goals and let's take it another step further. You know, you know, it's interesting because what we're what we're talking about, and and this is, uh, this is probably the biggest mistake that I see over and over and over. Every time I'm helping um, our clients, uh, I'll ask, so what's the activity level? So there's three things that you measure for a salesperson internally in my in my world. Um, one is is activity level. How many calls? How many conversations? How many at bats? Basically, how many times? Are, are you, as a real estate professional, getting the opportunity to sell or get into contract with someone? Mm -hmm. um, the next piece is, what are you saying? Because there's a piece of coaching um, that goes on in terms of, like, you know, are you saying the right things? Somebody gave you an objection. Did you handle it correctly? You know, do you, do you have, you know, so there's a, there's a coaching kind of scripts and handling mm -hmm. objections and talking to people and relating and all that kind of stuff, walking them through what they need to do. And then there's the results. Um, and, and so those are the three things that you have to – and Pipeline handles the activity, right? Correct. I mean, it, 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 it handles the activity, but, uh, and it will also show you the result. Right. right. And so that way you can gauge what's working, what's not, and that's where that coaching piece comes in to where the coach can be a fly on the wall of your numbers. And as a coach, you know, if you're coaching uh, a football player, baseball player, a, an Olympian, you can't help them improve unless you know their numbers. You know, you can't tell somebody, oh, you're getting faster, but not time them. You can't tell them they're getting stronger without measuring how much they can lift. So, you know, basically, you know, have you ever seen, I, uh, every time I go speak anywhere, I always use the analogy from the movie Moneyball, right? You have um, uh, the Oakland A's franchise that went from, you know, uh, losing pretty much most their team to now having to compete with the New York Yankees. And the one statistic they used was on base percentage. They didn't care if they can run. They didn't care if they can throw. They didn't care anything. All they cared about was, can you get on base? And the agents that I see the most successful, especially starting right off, are the ones that are just going out trying to get on base. Right. They're not worried about this. They're not worried about that. They're going, I need to contact people. I need to get appointments. And the on-base percentage for real estate is exactly what you said. It is setting those appointments. Right, right, right. Okay, so if um, if I'm an agent and I, I'm, I'd like to explore your software, mm -hmm. what, what do they do? How does it work? What do, you, what do you need to do? Tell us about that. Incredibly simple. It's, it's just go to PipelineWizard.com. And you can sign up for a free, full access, no obligation, 15-day trial. You don't even need to enter a, a credit card number. Try it out. Check it out. You'll see exactly what you can do. Um, 
you know, if anybody has any questions, they can always email sales at Pipeline Wizard. A lot of those, depending upon where they come from, will get directed towards me, and I can walk them through and do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial, whether it's for a team, a, a brokerage, whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and then at that point during the trial, you know, they'll get um, different communications via email and phone to them with uh, various discounts as well. So that way, you know, they don't have to pay full price by just going online. One of the challenges, you know, we, we've utilized everything from Commissions Inc., Boomtown, Top Producer. I mean, I've used all kinds of, you know, we have Salesforce. <laughs> I've used all of these systems. And one of my challenges as a broker um, who employs people has always been to get them to actually enter the data. Mm -hmm. Like, and how do, you, how do you get somebody, I mean, you know, and what if I'm a I'm a professional and I'm a I'm a single agent and I've got this laser focus of you know listings, 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 um, mm -hmm. and I start using yours, but then I get really busy and I don't update it. Like, how, how do you what do you tell people like that? So it's it's interesting because you know <clears throat> we've essentially been open for business for about a year and a half now, so we've had a a, a solid amount of subscribers on the system mm -hmm. that are using it. Mm -hmm. And we've seen and we're witnessing testimonials from that. So whether they're a brand new agent that did two to three, and this is a live testimonial, two to three deals their first year that did over five or six million the second year. Mm -hmm. And already top producers increasing their GCI by about $128,000 simply by knowing their numbers and being held accountable. Right. So when you start seeing right success leaves clues, when you start seeing agents that are using the system that is increasing their business, why wouldn't you want to use it? One, um, the system only takes 10 to 15 minutes a day, if that, mm -hmm. to implement and use in order to see those type of results. Um, for large teams and getting people to implement, two things. One, the motivation factor. You're going to see how much money you're going to make. And if you really want to increase your business and become a business owner, you need a system like this. You have to know your numbers. Two, other larger teams and brokerages are, are getting their team signed up for this, and they're saying, if you want to be on our team, you have to use this because we want to know what you're doing, but not from a big brother we want to spy any type of thing. It's We want you on our team because we feel you're a value add to our team, and we want to help you succeed. We just need to know where to help you. Mm -hmm. um, and when people start using it, they see that benefit. They see oh, wow, okay, I'm seeing momentum. You know, on top of that, as far as an independent contractor, what I liked about my own system when I was building it was, you know, my wife would be, hey, you know, so how much money are you going to make this month, right? Because there's no steady paycheck. And I can show her, here's my pipeline report. This is what I have in the pipeline. This is what's closing this month. This is what's closing next month. And the reality is when you look at your whiteboard, Mm -hmm. right? whether it's an actual whiteboard or pipeline wizard, and you see your last closing is at the end of this month and there's no actives or leads in the pipeline, you essentially as a business owner are going out of business at that time and you need to restart your business. Right. And so what this does is just keeps it in front of you saying, you know, are you going to stay in business for one, two, three months or are you going to stay in business for a very long time because you're consistent? Right, 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 right. Um, you know, you told me this story about a guy who was a real estate professional who was applying for a loan, and he printed out his his pipeline and gave it to the bank, and what happened? Yeah, so the, this, this real estate agent um, was applying to refinance their home, mm -hmm. and uh, they were in the business for less than two years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at that point, you know, to do that, you need two years tax returns as an independent contractor. And uh, when we got that phone call and saying, you know, hey, I, I found a bank, I printed up my pipeline report that took that as a form of projected income. This is what I have the potential of making as an actual document to help that agent get approved for a refinance um, that was surprising because we didn't even think of that. We didn't even, even, but for that agent to go, I wonder if this would work. Let me print out this report to say, hey, here's the amount of money I have the potential of making and what's currently in the pipeline. And the bank said that you're a business owner, essentially. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's, that's what separates somebody from being just a, an agent from a business owner is tracking their numbers, knowing how much profitability is coming. Yeah, yeah. Makes absolute sense. Well, and, and most agents too. 
you know, they're not using QuickBooks, they're not using Quicken, they're barely using an Excel spreadsheet, if that, and all their funds are going into one account, right? You or I are not attorneys or CPAs, so we can't advise on that. Um, however, what I would suggest is making sure that you do advise with those people that are smart in those areas and say, get separate bank accounts for each one of these things, so that way it's all separated, and when somebody says, you want to apply for a loan, you want to refinance, or you just want to know the pulse of your business, it's all broken down right there. And sure. it's not complicated. It's just putting the systems in place. And the great thing is, whether it's using Pipeline, using QuickBooks, Quicken, and, and monitoring your business, the reality is any real estate professionals don't have to do that because they can hire a virtual assistant to do all that for them. Right. right. <laughs> Um, okay, so what if somebody is interested, what does it cost? What's the timeline for getting up and running? How long does it take to implement um, within the team? Like what, what, what are some and what are some good tips in your opinion for using your stuff? So the system is it's, it's very basic. It's 29.95 a month, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's about average, if not a little bit below what most real estate systems out there are costing. Mm -hmm. um, or 297 bucks for the entire year. Um, and on top of that, you get um, a lot of you know, webinars that we do, live interview series like we're doing here with special guests, coaches, agents all across the country, um, you know, and companies like my Outdesk finding the, how can we add value to agents. And there, there, right now there's no activation fee. It's being completely waived. But I would suggest go on, do the 15-day trial and see if you even like the platform, see if you can implement it. And if you can spend five minutes a day just putting in just basic things right away, I mean, that's, that's where you want to start. Don't try to dive in and, you know, Salesforce is a great example. You can't just dive into Salesforce and go, I'm going to use everything right now and I'm going to set it all up right now. Right. You're, you're going to go crazy. Um, our system is not as complicated as Salesforce by far. Um, you know, but it, it is a great system. And so start small. Go in. Put in what your commission splits are. Go in. Put in your anniversary or start dates with your brokerage. Go in and put in basic goals. This is how many people I want to talk to. This is how many appointments I want to set. And uh, if they have any questions, you know, we have live chat. We have support. We have a sales team. And just call in and or email us or live chat, and we'll take care of you. And we can even do an initial consult if they want to help, you know, if they want help with being, you know, walk through the system. Okay, cool. Well, so uh, last um, piece of advice. What would you tell somebody getting on your platform, like, what, you know, just best practices, common mistakes. What What would you give them? What What advice would you give them? Two things. One, um, the most common mistake is um, they don't know. Most agents do not know their commission splits. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and we even have in the system. Please ask your broker or your manager or your 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 CFO, whoever runs the books in your office, what your splits are, um, because a lot of the times they're going, hey, the calculations are not right, and it all it's all based upon the information they're putting in the system, and if they don't understand the information they're putting in the system, the system just translating what they put in, and mm -hmm. so that's the most common mistake agents make is not understanding how they get paid. Cool. Um, the second thing is to take the most, the, to maximize the advantage of the system mm -hmm. is to use it consistently. Mm -hmm. it, it's, you don't need to spend hours in it. You need to spend five, ten minutes a day in it. And if you look at it like your virtual whiteboard, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just the accountability standpoint. It's that motivation. You see your whiteboard full. You get excited, you get motivated. You see the whiteboard empty, you know, you have that pit in your stomach of fear, like, what am I doing now? What, what can I do to earn more business? Either way, it's going to drive you to <laughs> hopefully increase your production. All right. Jesse Garcia, Pipeline Wizard, thanks for your time, man. No, dude, I appreciate it. Thank you.